Mr. Amos and Tamara here. All right, everybody. So thank you so much for joining us today as we help prepare you for getting one day closer to that future. That's right. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. We are on every week and we go live on the weekends, but we decided to do something different today. Yes, absolutely. So thank you all for joining today. There would be no us without you. We appreciate you. Thank you. As we have done in the past, uh, a couple of what to pack videos uh, over the course of our, our channel. Mm -hmm. And today we wanted to bring something uh, a little bit special. Uh, of course, we have our regular old goodies that we normally talk about, like having a wonderful camera to capture all those memories. Yes. The lint roller, so you can look extra fabulous on formal night. Yeah, you don't want any lint on your clothes. Don't forget the Tums for after formal night. Yes, so it is <laughs> way too much like I do. Our hats. Yes, here's mine. <laughs> hats and sunglasses, and don't forget about all that good stuff. Throw that in the suitcase. How about your waterproof container for your cell phone and electronics? Yes, make sure you ladies, you don't forget your sunglasses. We want to make sure we stay ready. Mrs. Trevor likes to hand any walkie-talkies for when we have group cruises. That's right, because you can't use your phones on a cruise, and me and Mr. Traveler do a lot of groups. We go on cruises with the family a lot, so we do want to stay in touch on the cruise. And we don't like to pay those cell phone bills for the island. And of course, don't forget your sunblock. Yes, that's number one, sunblock. But we have some things that's more important than sunblock on these particular cruises that's coming up. Yeah, oh, absolutely guys. So let's get down to it. What we came here to talk about today mm -hmm. is how to prepare and pack some things to keep you and your family safe during the COVID cruising time. Yes, it's a different time that we're living in now. So we wanna make sure we stay prepared, stay safe. We wanna say trip. We wanna go there and come back with everything the same way it was before we left. And what we have to do is make sure we take health and safety precautions yeah. to make our vacation a little bit better. Absolutely. I think any of these items that we're gonna show you here today, we sat down and made kind of a comprehensive list, went through, did some research on some things that are going on, what science has found out works best and what doesn't work best. And these could be used not only for your cruise travel, but if you go to a hotel before you cruise or just traveling in general. That's right, and we wanna make sure we take as many precautions as we possibly can to stay healthy and safe. We wanna have fun and we cannot have fun if we are ill or if we get sick. We yeah. wanna make sure we keep ourselves safe as well as you safe. That's right. First and foremost, uh, of course, the subject of much debate and yes. on the news every day is the old mask Rooney. Yes, I'd like to collect my cute masks. I decided to start matching them with my outfits and got a little creative with wearing my mask lately. And I think that that's a good idea for my ladies. You want to get some glitter ones, you want to get some different color ones. And like Mr. Traveler have a beige one. We have different colors. Yeah, I do try to color coordinate a little bit with my stuff. Mm -hmm. Although, so I have these masks and I really prefer wearing my gator mask. Mm -hmm. uh, this is kind of my choice. And I know there's a lot of debate about these don't stop germs and a lot of stuff. And you know, the pore sizes are very big on here. You know, but I go a lot of places. I do a lot of things every day. Thank God I have not uh, gotten sick or anything like that. Me too. Um, and I, I think that this, you know, it's probably better to have this than to not have anything. Since the pandemic has happened, we have actually been traveling. We have actually went to Mexico for our 20th anniversary. Those videos will be linked right above. Mr. Traveler has this gator mask because it keeps them very cool on the islands. It's very hot. We like to travel to hot places. We live in a hot climate here in Florida, so it keeps them cool and I can just go ahead and throw those in the washing machine. Yeah, they're a lot more comfortable to, to wear. And, and, but I'll say this, and even before all this COVID stuff happened, mm -hmm. when we used to be on trips and stuff, we would hear people coughing and sneezing. We literally would like turn around and go the other way. We have to. Um, because they didn't want, don't want to get sick. I mean, so we were always very precautious yes. with this. We um, very rarely get sick when we travel. I think it's because we take precaution. We were doing all of this before this pandemic happened. So, you know, whether you have the Gator mask, the this mask, if you have uh, the N95 mask or whatever mask that you're using, make sure that you bring them. But I think we brought all that up to bring up the point is that we need to make sure that we bring some extras with us. Yes. So our first tip is to go to the store and buy these spare masks at the mm -hmm. store to bring with you. 
and you know depending on what size how big your family is it is depending on what size box you that you need mm -hmm. so i think they had a box they had like 35 masks in there and they were like 14 bucks we picked up these hanes one here which are three ply adjustable nose piece breathable and they're all also washable and reusable that's what i really like about them um but you know when you because you're wearing these other masks and if you're doing some short excursions or you're out on the deck and you know you get hot and sweaty the mask is going to stink up pretty quickly mm -hmm. um, and if you don't have the ability to wash it or whatever or you lose it whatever this is a good idea just to have these spares with you we want to make sure that we stay safe and the, the only way we can do that is we change masks all day we sweat we perspire um, we do a lot of activities excursions we're ripping and running on the ship you want to make sure you bring extras just to have them yeah absolutely and, and that pack of five was like seven bucks at uh, walmart so Mr. Traveler has found some face masks and they have in the pack and they are reusable, adjustable, breathable, washable, and reusable like I said. Um, they're supposed to keep you cool. I really like those. They are, they have different colors too. Black, brown, white. At the checkout counter. I'll be honest with you guys, uh, you know, th this would be the bringing the gloves, so bring the, you know, box of Rooney of the gloves with you. Well, that in a suitcase. <laughs> but just have the gloves with you. I'm not real big on gloves. I have not been wearing them since this whole COVID thing. Personally, that's because I'm very cognizant of what I'm doing with my hands when we're out and about. And I've been like that before all this happened. Um, but I am big on gloves, and I tell you, the reason why I use them is because <laughs> when I first get on board, or if we had a resort, I put these bad boys on and I'll go to town cleaning. I'll make sure I clean the phones. I'll make sure I clean, you know, the lookout from the room there on the door. There's a peephole. You want to clean that. You also want to clean the light switches. And we have a video right here that shows you how to sanitize on a cruise ship. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, I'm not a big fan of them, but I can see that maybe the first day getting on board the ship, yeah. because you're going in the yeah. terminal, you're mm -hmm. getting on the ship, you're handling things, you're, yeah. it's a lot of interaction going on. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the buffet and eat. <laughs> maybe even the airplane, this may be yes. a, a good idea for the airplane as yes. well. So. I've seen some people actually wear them, and I'm not mad at them, you know, anything that you have to do to protect yourself and make sure you have a fantastic vacation just do it but we usually go ahead and use them throw them out and boom we're done yeah absolutely so this next tip i think this is probably the best thing that we can recommend for you on this video yeah and it's also yeah. the most economical yeah, it actually is. <laughs> this is called the germ key yeah mr traveler was bugging me about this thing i'm like what is a germ key he's talking about a germ key we don't need that thing he was like yes we do we need the germ key here's the footage of when we were shopping for it right here and here's where you want to go it's on the end cap it's called the germ key or the minute key. And it's only 488 for the minute key. Right. I like the minute key. Mr. Traveler likes the germ key. Yes. I think we need to get the germ key, right? So it's more beefier. Okay. It's like a candle. Alright. Well, there you have it. We found it in the pet aisle. Crack this bad boy open, maybe. <laughs> what the germ key does is it, it's like a hand for you. Instead of you pushing the buttons with your finger, use the germ key. It comes in handy. And Mr. Traveler is getting it open right now because it's very secure. <laughs> yeah, I like Gotta love Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> everything that we're using today, I'm gonna link everything below and for your convenience, you can go ahead and click on the links below. Everything will be below. And there's a lot of different brands of these. Uh, there's some that are a little bit skinnier in this. I prefer this one because it's a little bit beefier. I like the thinner one. Yeah, the thinner one I think <laughs> is good for the ladies. Yeah. And you can uh, hook it right to your uh, keys for your key ring. Mm -hmm. And so you can use this for a lot of different things. You can use the end uh, to push buttons, say like on the ATM. This is what it looks like. Here's a picture the hook part to open a door handle mm -hmm. so you don't have to touch it with your hands so you know this is what i'm saying why i don't like the gloves so much because you know use something like this is really great it comes in um, handy. so you can use it for a lot of different things a lot of grabbing stuff and, mm -hmm. and pulling stuff that you don't have to worry now about what you want to do if you're flying or if you want to check with the tsa make sure you take it out because they're going to see it on the 
scanning. You want to just make sure you have it out for them so they so you can tell them I have a germ key. Yeah, just leave a hook to your keys and yeah, go on there. Just they're, leave they're, it on there. They're, they're probably getting used to them now, I would think. Of course. What you want to do is make sure you sanitize this thing to it yes. and you know, throughout the course of the day. We have something for that as well. The cruise ships are gonna be doing a very good job. I think when we get back to cruising here, the cruise lines are gonna be doing a fantastic job with the sanitizing. I think they do a better job than on land. When we went to Mexico, they was doing a better job than anybody I've ever seen. They made sure we were safe. I think they'll have it on lock. Uh, yeah, so I think, you know, I want to say that first. I think that they're going to do a fantastic job on there. But to me, it's best to be with an abundance of caution and to be overly clean with these products. So we wanted to bring you some of the information that we did some research on and, uh, you know, just, just put it out there for you. And, you know, comment below and let us know what tips and tricks you have seen or heard of that will help everybody else in here. So currently right now, the EPA has two Lysol products that they have tested and proven to kill the COVID with 99.9% results. That is your Lysol disinfectant spray, your Lysol disinfectant max cover mist. So those two products right there, if you go on the EPA website, you'll see that those two products have already been tested and proven against the COVID virus. So that's a wonderful thing. It is important to know, and we're going to put this e link to the EPA, what's called the list N with the EPA for products and chemicals and things like that, which can be used effectively to combat not only COVID, but other viruses and bacteria. But the list N is specific to COVID virus. Um, these two Lysol products have been proven. So there may be, I, I say that to say that there may be some other products that are very similar like with Clorox and that because Clorox is on that list in for products that can combat the COVID virus. But this, these particular Lysol products have been proven uh, to be effective in killing the COVID virus. So there are some more products out there that work, but these are proven to work the best. So we're going to share those with you as well. Right, so uh, it's important to note that they must be used as directed. So like with these particular Lysol products, um, they have to be on the surface for two minutes for them to be effective. Okay, so you just spray it and leave it. Right. Or you wipe it and leave uh, it. And so this is where I'll put the disclaimer. If you can find those two products, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. But like we have not been able to find these products. I mean, they're, it's, <laughs> it's literally almost impossible to find them. Yes, but we, if, went, we went on a hunt and we still couldn't find them. You almost have to order them. Yeah. We'll try to link them below. Yeah, so you, you try looking online and, and different online sources for those. They However, sell quick. that's why you want to look at the list and that we provided down the link below mm -hmm. because then you can do your research on some of the things that help combat the COVID virus. But we have brought some of them today to show you and kind of give you some, some helpful tips. One of the things that we found on that list end is that they're saying, and what we, our research we found is that the products that have greater than 60% alcohol mm -hmm. are products that are very useful in combating the COVID virus, especially on hard, non-porous surfaces. So that'll help you out a lot on the cruise ship, door handles, mm -hmm. countertops, and all that. You wouldn't believe how many things you touch when you're on a cruise ship. The TV remote, the switches, the cabinets, the cabinet pools, it's a lot. So I would say it's better to bring any kind of a Lysol or Clorox product that you can, you know, based off of that information. So I, I, You don't have to bring something this big. You can scale it down with the trial size yes. uh, plastic bottles. Yeah, I was just going to say a good point is go to the dollar store mm -hmm. and get a get a spray bottle and dump this into the spray bottle. Shrink that down. Just make sure you label it so you know what's what. That's right. <laughs> Whatever Lysol product you can find, this is literally the last one of these that was on the shelf that yes, I had to fight had, to get. The shelves are cleared out, so we had to go early in the morning. <laughs> um, so same thing, a lot of the Clorox products mm -hmm. are on the list in for being effective against the COVID virus when used as directed. You can take these out of the Clorox container and put them inside Ziploc bags. And a matter of fact, it says right here, what does that say at the top? Kills COVID virus. Mm -hmm. Right there on top, it says kills COVID virus. I didn't even notice that until we did the video just now. So mm -hmm. how great is that? This is the Clorox disinfecting wipe. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, from what I was reading, you have to have this in contact with the surface for at least 30 seconds. Yeah. Whatever the direction is saying here, do that. Yes, we were using these before the pandemic. We were bringing them anyway, but now we are sharing this with you so you can be safer. And one thing we have always brought with us, and now we'll even more so do so, is right. 
is the uh, alcohol, and this is 91% alcohol. A lot of the sites are recommending 70 to 90. They say this may, uh, well, they say 100% alcohol, right, would evaporate too quickly. I like the 91% for the things that we do. Um, again, this is like has to stay in the surface for like 30 seconds. Yeah, just leave it there. So, It'll evaporate. <laughs> so if you can't find a Lysol or Clorox, mm -hmm. You can still pretty readily, if you can't find this in your store, mm -hmm. you can order online. I think you've been having success with what? Um, I did. I had to search. I, you know, sometimes I edit all night and I, you know, do my little shopping in the middle of the night. And I found that if you go on Amazon, you can go ahead and order uh, gallons. So I'll go ahead and link to those below. Yeah, and I think you did it on CVS before, didn't you? Can you can go on CVS or you can go on Wal Walgreens or Walmart. And if you're concerned about the things that I'm telling you, I have a degree behind it. You can go ahead and use alcohol. It will help kill the COVID virus. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Look at and look at the list in mm -hmm. that we have listed below. Yes, the, it'll help you out a lot. The uh, isopropyl alcohol is on there mm -hmm. with 70% or greater. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and thumbs up if this video has helped you. Make sure you share it with somebody that can help them too. A lot of people are getting ready to cruise. We're getting ready to leave. Why don't you go ahead and share it with them? So I like this for cleaning the room. Me too. For cleaning. Um, you just go to town spraying everything. Yeah. It'll be fine. Let it sit there for 30 seconds. And mm -hmm. really with this, you can just let it evaporate. That's Put right. Put it on there and let it evaporate and do its thing. This is what I really like. And I use these all the time. These are the 75% alcohol sanitizing wipes. What I use these for mostly is our electronics. And counter. Yeah, I, I love this for my cell phone because, you know, spraying the alcohol on your phone, you can really damage it. Yeah. Um, with this here, it's, you know, a little, it down. little less wet. Yeah. Again, you have to have like that 30 second contact time to really let it do its thing. Uh, but as long as you don't have like cracks and stuff in your cell phone, you, you know, do wipe you down, do. flip it over, wipe it down. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you get your phone really clean because that thing gets dirty throughout the course of the day. Do it every day. Yeah, mm -hmm. a couple times a day, really. And you set your phone down on the counter, you pick them up. You set it down, pick it up, you put it on your face. You need to sanitize it. Absolutely. So, and, and these are were very reasonable. I think they were like four bucks or something, three or four dollars. Yeah and nice and convenient already, seal it up, throw it in the bag. Comment and let us know which product that you like the most, which what has helped you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, absolutely guys. And so outside of these products, of course, this is... That's our favorite. This is our favorite right here. I think this is really great. The germ key. Uh, outside of that, guys, know that the cruise ships are doing a wonderful job sanitizing Shout those rooms. Shout out to the cruise staff. And, and getting those things done. Yes. I would also recommend bringing... Antimicrobial soap. Yep, I would recommend bringing some mm -hmm. of that with you yeah. as well. A bar of dial soap and do. And if all else fails and you cannot find anything else, and actually, I'll be honest with you, we bring this hydrogen peroxide, we bring the alcohol with us, and we're going to bring the Lysol and Clorox with us too. Mm -hmm. We're bringing all of the above with us because you never know. One might spill on you. You might use it all up. You know, you can use the hydrogen peroxide for other things if you have any cuts or scrapes or anything like that yes. during your trip, whatever. Hydrogen peroxide is also on the EPA's list in for being effective against killing the COVID virus. Yes, it comes in handy. It knocks the virus out and we need everything to help us stay healthy. So if you want to get a little 99 cent bottle of peroxide, it'll help you and it helps us. According to the site, you can dilute this down, but I would not recommend that. I would just, mm -hmm. you know, if you're not going to bring it in this bottle, put it in again, like another spray bottle, make sure that you label it hydrogen peroxide. You want to leave this on the hard non-porous surfaces for one minute. Um, a little bit longer than, than alcohol. Yes. Important to note though with this stuff, you have to be careful with this because it can damage your clothing and non-porous surfaces. You know, you can have some gargle with this stuff. Yeah. Um, outside of that guys, just, you know, we, we're in these times that we're going to have to be very aware of what we're touching, mm -hmm. how we're doing things. Yes. And we can get back to doing this and having uh, having a fun time on the cruise ship. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's just going to have to almost become sick nature to you on being aware of what you're touching with your hands. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so you if you had to touch a door before you come in, before you eat, please use that hand sanitizer. With so this is probably our favorite thing on here. And of course, guys, don't forget, we didn't even really probably have to mention your hand sanitizer. Make sure you keep that with you. I'm sure everybody <laughs> has a hand sanitizer. I take it everywhere we go. Stick it in my, my little wallet when we go walk around Disney Springs when we go to the parks. We even take it when we go to a restaurant. I would yes. recommend bringing plenty of the smaller ones so you can stick them in your pocket so it lays in your purse. 
Yes. Going around instead of trying to carry a big giant one everywhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Easier to just to have several smaller ones. And you know the cruise ship's already going to have a bunch on there anyway. We're not perfect, but we try to strive to be healthy and safe. We hope these tips help you. And if it did, comment below and let us know. And if you have tips of your own, share them with us. We'll take notes. We appreciate each and every one of you. All right, everybody, let's get back to cruising. Life's short. Have fun, guys. See the world. Be safe out there. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.